Hello, this is Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com, where we show you how to use Adobe Photoshop clearly and concisely. Today we're going to look at how to purchase a cheaper version of Photoshop. Many of my video tutorials just launched right into how to use Photoshop, but as you well know, Photoshop can be quite expensive, and many people may be put off by the price. They might say, hey, this looks really cool to do. I'd like to learn how to do that. But then they start going out and pricing it, and if they go the normal route of buying Photoshop, like if they go to Best Buy or one of the vendors like Amazon, you're going to get discouraged very quickly. So I'm going to show you a way to buy Photoshop at a much cheaper price. Now, this is how I got started with Photoshop, and I'm going to take you by the hand and show you just how I did that. First of all, just to let you know, if you go down to Best Buy or one of your local computer software vendors, uh, Walmart or wherever, you'll find out real quickly that Photoshop at the regular retail price is right around $700. And that looks, you know, for a piece of software, most people are going to like to go, wow, that's astronomical. Also, if you decide to buy an Adobe Suite that's got everything, like Adobe Acrobat, Fireworks, um, Flash, Photoshop, all packaged together, and they have different packages for these, I have the website version where you can buy everything that pertains to building websites and this is a whole collection of these things together it will run you right around fourteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars so the whole idea behind this is to teach you how to find a cheaper solution to purchasing photoshop or the adobe suite first thing you ought to know about buying anything if you go into any kind of business ever or if you just go out and you want to buy something don't buy the first thing that you see don't look at the first price and say oh there it is i want to buy it and quickly grab a hold of it and buy it because you'll be losing all kinds of great bargains if you do such a thing. Let's take for example if you go down to the store and you purchase oil, motor oil for your car. Let's just say you went into Walmart for example and you walk in there and you see this beautifully packaged oil container and I have seen these. They actually have gold foil on the top of them and they're almost two, three, four times as much as what regular oil costs. The cheapest oil grade they have sitting there is just as good for your car as the most expensive thing that you can buy believe it or not the only difference between the two is the packaging okay so when you go and you price things look at five or six different versions of something before you buy it it doesn't matter if it's business cards or whatever I, my recommendation is to go out and price it at least ten different places before you buy something for your business or something like software so that's my recommendation. Check out at least 10 different vendors first. That's real important that you do that. You'll be amazed at the difference in the prices that you'll see out there with software and everything else that you buy. Another thing is to check out alternative buying options. Well, what do I mean by alternative buying options? Very simply, we're talking about sites like eBay for example or auction sites and as you know there's a whole ton of new auction sites and there's more every single day as a matter of fact if you go online you type in software auction you'll see tons of software being produced so you can easily set up your own auction site so it's getting very easy for people to do this they can just buy the software and set up your own auction site at any time but there are so many uh, auction sites and the most established ones of course are eBay UBID bid dogs and the last one I checked today was a thing called bids and I was amazed I actually saw a copy of Photoshop on there and I didn't remember what the um, exact version of it was but I think it was CS3 and it was going for around $147 now that's a lot cheaper than buying Photoshop for 700 bucks I think you'll agree so that's one way of doing it buying alternative routes like auction sites uh, check out as many online vendors as you can. That's another good point right here. And, of course, Amazon is just like the king of online marketing right now and being a vendor online. But there are other sites as well. Uh, Overstock.com, you may have seen their commercials on TV. They've got loads of different items like software and so forth. Uh, another one that's come on the market recently is iOffer, eCrater, and of course bonanza.com these are all dot coms and you can find really good deals on any of these sites that are much cheaper than if you went out to your regular vendor and just purchased a copy of Photoshop that way so that's another good clue as to how to go out and buy a copy of Adobe Photoshop also you can check around on the popular computer classified ads as well online ads uh, for one thing you've got Craigslist now I have a particular problem with Craigslist and I don't recommend it myself because 
Uh, so many times when I've contacted people about buying something on Craigslist, all they wanted to do was lie to me and actually not have anything up for sale. What they did was they would try to market their products back to me once they got my email address. So if you're dealing with Craigslist, make sure that you use a throwaway email account like Google's uh, Gmail or Yahoo's mail system. Don't use your own personal email because they'll collect your email address and they'll start marketing back to you stuff. Uh, but you may find something on Craigslist. It does happen. It, obviously, it does have some validation in the market because it's gotten rather big. Oodle.com, there's another one that's a, a, a popular online classified. eBay classifieds, they've got a huge section right there. Blue Jay, I saw a copy of Photoshop on BlueJay.com today, and that was for right around $200. And then Sell.com. So these are other places you can find copies of Adobe Photoshop. Uh, these are computer classifieds or online classifieds. Now, there is another route to buying Photoshop if you don't want to buy the regular retail route, and that is to buy an earlier version. Uh, if you go and buy CS5, which is the current version right now, it's running for about $657, versus Photoshop CS3, which is two versions back. It, I saw that online today for right around $247. So you can see the value there as buying Adobe Photoshop. And I will be honest with you, when I use CS3, which I have a copy on one of my computers, I can't tell much of the difference between that and CS5. Really isn't that much of a difference, but I'm sure highly seasoned professional in the world of Photoshop that goes out and uh, retouches pictures of Nicole Kidman as she's going around and getting all her photo shoots, I'm sure they know the difference. But to most guys, most people in the industry that just use it for websites or whatever, really not going to see that much of a difference. Okay, and then another obvious solution is buy an earlier version and then upgrade it. You can also go ahead and buy a copy of, for example, in this case CS3, and for $247 and then upgrade to CS5 and I think that's between $100 and $200 you're still much much cheaper than $700 so it's around $400 to do the whole thing if you go that route okay now here's one of the methods I used to buy software a while back and that is to buy an educators version because they are much cheaper you can go online and type in software educators version so forth and there are education websites they sell you and I only thing I could see that was different on the educator version of the, the software that I bought was when you turned it on it said Adobe Photoshop educators version at the beginning of it but these are versions that they sell to colleges and to college students that just don't have the funds to pay seven hundred dollars to buy a copy of Photoshop not only that they have bulk selling prices so in other words if a college wants to buy uh, 50 or 60 copies of Photoshop because they have to install it on each on a different computer to teach their students with they have an educators a cheaper educators version that they can buy and I really don't know what the difference between the educators version and the professional version is but I hadn't had time to check it out I really couldn't find much of one so uh, other than the intro title that said educators version on it so that's another way you can get a cheaper version and it's usually at least half of the price that you would normally pay now you're gonna say well gee I'm, I'm not an educator I don't teach well when I first started learning uh, I went to a, one of the educator sites to buy a copy of uh, at that time it was Macromedia Dreamweaver now Adobe owns Dreamweaver and it's part of their software package their uh, Adobe suite package and so I went to a company that sold Macromedia Dreamweaver I said well you know I like to buy a copy of your educators version and I, of course you had to fill out a form online and it said you know what school do you teach at and at the bottom of the list it said other and you could check mark this box and box and type in what was other well I have homeschooled my kids in the past so I typed in homeschooled and uh, they gave me the educators price now you could say well gee you're lying about that not necessarily for one thing if you have children in your family and you ever want to involve them in learning stuff about the computer or let them learn how to use Photoshop which I think is a great hobby for a kid go ahead and buy a copy and say hey I'm homeschooling also if you're training yourself you are homeschooling yourself there's nothing wrong with that uh, when I went to Boise State University and I got my degree in education technology and instructional design part of the curriculum was knowing how to build 
websites. I had already taught myself that portion of the curriculum, so I didn't need to do all of that. And so while other people were struggling with that end of the uh, learning curve uh, with education technology, I already had it down. Why? Because I self-taught myself. And as far as the college and the university was concerned, they thought that was great that I already knew how to do that. And how did I do it? I self-taught myself. So if you self-teach yourself anything and you buy a book and you're going to work your way through it like I did, I bought literally bought Dreamweaver for dummies and Photoshop for dummies and taught myself how to use these programs. So you're self-taught, you're homeschooling yourself. That's my way of looking at it. And that's one way of getting around it. But the educator's versions are much cheaper. Okay, one last ditch effort to buy a, a copy of something that resembles Adobe Photoshop is to go out and buy Corel's Paint Shop Photo Pro, which is, I think, X3 is the, is the latest version of this. And at the store, it retails for right around $80. And believe it or not, I have used uh, Paint Shop Pro before it became owned by Corel, the Corel company. I actually used to have a copy of it. I still have it laying around here somewhere. And it is almost like Photoshop. I really uh, have a hard time understanding how you, to wrap your mind around the idea that Paint Shop Pro can do many of the things that Photoshop can. Now, I, like I say, a very, very seasoned Photoshop expert can obviously tell me right away what the difference between the two are. And if any, at any time any of you would like to uh, tell me about this, just send me an email or go to my forum at www photoshoptrainingforum.com and you can just uh, log in there and get an account through there which is free and you can go ahead and log in your opinion about what you think about this online tutorial today. So those were many of the ways that I could think of it. And this has been Mark Elma Ellis with photoshoptrainingforum.com where we teach you how to clearly and concisely use Adobe Photoshop. God bless and have a great day.